What did you study? Communications. Communications. Yes. How old are you? Ten years old. So you are looking for work now. I am. Yeah, you must keep searching. Must... The president failed that Dean Tualo when he said keep searching for a job. Because the president should have outlined what programs are there. There is this, there is this, there is this. The president doesn't know the plans because the plans do not exist. How do you say to an old man who says, I want a fridge, buy me a fridge. Where were you working? I was working here. Go and tell them to buy you a fridge. Which leader says that? Because the president can't say, I'll buy you a fridge. I accept that. But the president will say, we say, oh, hey, wow, come on, come on, we talk about the fridge. It's a very important aspect. We say understand the language that he must buy the fridge. You assign someone there, right there. Because he moves around, by the way, this door to door with business people and all of that. Just say, help the old man. The old man meets a president, a young woman meets a president. The fact that you came into contact with president, something must give. <laughs> anything. Ugabari has never been here. Because that's what he did in Amanskral. He goes there, people die of cholera. He goes there, he's pretending to be caring. He left Amanskral till today. That rainfall thing has not been fixed. If anything, situation is worse. How can the press... You don't go if you don't have a plan. You first work on a plan. And then you go there. Because you've got a solution. You go there because you've got a solution. You, 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 you go like you are listening and listening. <clears throat> you see? What's going to happen? Uh, Minister of Water. I want this. You. I want... It's not true. They told him we're going to do one, two, three. Let's go. But he goes there. He doesn't know who's going to do what. You're just going to see them. The president overborn. No, the president once he has stepped in here. Yeah. Done. Our problems are solved. And the problems of Haman Skral are simple. The rival water treatment plant budget has been stolen by individuals. A tender was given. Money has been paid. The product is not there. I become a president or a deputy president or anything of that sort. I take that project. I even establish a site office. I go there twice a week. We have to finish this thing. You monitor it yourself because you went there. I'm going to be visiting. And Haman Skral is not Giani. It's next to the union building. What, what stops the president from making a turn at Haman Skral to check if there is progress? People are dying of cholera before he goes to his office. You clear my diary. I'm going to run this program for the next three months. We're going to complete this thing. And if we don't complete this, heads are going to roll. So, you, you, because he's an executive president. The rest, the so-called minister of this, those things are nothing. They are assistants of the president on education. Assistants of the president on finance. The man in charge, it's him. That's why he can fire anyone. And he requires no reason to fire you. No, to all saying, I regard Don Chichimisha a cancer. No more minister. When's I It doesn't have to explain. I tell you to come and fix this thing of water treatment plant. You don't do it. You don't do it. It's fine. We shall release you in the morning through a statement. We don't even tell you. Just release a statement. It's done. There's no labor court, no CCMA. Uh, Student debt, there's no, uh, uh, what do you call it, time frame. Because it's done immediately. It's part of the presidential speech. 
that all of the student debt must be cancelled. Why does it need five years or anything? We, we are fighting every day now, demanding that the student debt must be cancelled. We even sponsored a bill, we say, about the cancellation of the student debt in parliament. Now, before we became government, the ANC used its majority and rejected it. We sponsored a bill to insource cleaners, to insource security guards, so that we can improve their lives. ANC rejected it. Uh, uh, my biggest problem with security guards is that our fathers come and work here. And they work as security guards at the, the Jobek municipality at the gate for 30 years. He comes back with nothing. And then, when you come back with nothing, they say, Bamu yile basadi wa matos. Kwa mahwe. Eh, bamu yile. But that is not true. That is not true. The guy has worked at the gate of the municipality for 30 years without a pension fund. Why? Every three years, a new company comes in. They, they exchange with this old man from one company to the other, from one company to the other. By the time he retire, this company is actually six months. But what do you want? Us? No wish. Then he packs his things. He comes back home. We say he was useless. He was never useless. There were no pension funds. There was no medical aid. There were no leave days. There was no job security. Once you go and leave, on, when you come back, someone is there. Someone is there. There is no guarantee. So, the ANC rejects that. The ANC rejects insourcing cleaners, which are cleaning in government offices. Our argument is that these people are working with us. They are cleaning MEC's office. We don't even know the owner of that company. We know this good cleaner. Why can't we have a direct relationship with this cleaner without a middleman? So, we have to correct that when we take over power. Uh, and, and, and we also propose now, and I'm happy everyone now is talking about it. When we started it, they were saying it's a crazy idea. We said we need to give graduates jobs. If we can't give them jobs, we must give them a grant. Because they can't go to school only to come back to earn 350 like the rest of other people who have not gone to school. 